So no matter what I do in terms of calibrating, doing the bed leveling, etc., it always seems to fail in this front area over here because it's always too high there. Everything else seems fine and the z-axis is moving up and down to compensate over here but it's just not working properly. This stuff is stuck well in the center. So this is something strange. If we remove the build plate by undoing the screws underneath then we see that these y-axis belt ends are pushing in on the bottom of the build plate. Right now they're just mainly pushing in on the insulation but that could affect the bending of the build plate. And I've heard that if you bring the build plate down too far, it can cause it to bow up in the center. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna trim these belt ends to remove that all the way down to the brass piece using the flush cutters that came with the kit. So in addition to trimming the belts, I also measured the compressed spring height, which is 11.6 millimeters. I measured this foam insulation thickness, which is 5.5 millimeters. And then I measured the brass belt clamp height, which is 7.2 millimeters. So 7.2 millimeters plus 5.5 equals 12.7 millimeters, which is 1.1 millimeters taller than the compressed spring. So even with the belt trimmed, this brass piece can still push into the insulation, into the foam. And although that's not a lot of pressure, it could be enough to slightly bend the aluminum because this foam is always pushing back against that if that's pushing into the foam. It's just always applying pressure. So my solution to never have these brass pieces pushing into the foam, no matter how tight those springs are, is to add these 1.5 millimeter tall washers on the base below the springs. Then I can bring this build plate down quite tight without having to worry about it running into these belt ends. Here you can see the spring at the bottom on all four corners. Now the springs are completely bottomed out on all four corners and you can see that there's still a gap between those brass belt ends and the foam insulation so they're not touching. Neither the one in the front nor the back is touching anymore. Even fully compressed. Now I'm not going to leave these fully compressed. I'm going to turn them back about one turn as a starting point before doing the bed leveling. Now for the first time ever, it seems to be building evenly across the whole build plate after having done that mod un underneath to remove the ends of the belts that were pushing up into, into the insulation on the build plates and add a washer under the spring under the build plate and bring the springs down all the way until they bottom out and then turn one turn away from the bottomed out position before doing all the calibrations. So it's actually adhering everywhere evenly. A little bit of lifting going on over here. A little bit of lifting going on in the corner. But what I probably need to do is reduce initial build height because I have it at 0.3 right now because I was trying to compensate for the unevenness of the first layer. There still continue to be some slight issues with this corner. You can see that the lines are not pressed together quite as much as they are like over here. Here they're more pushed together and so it's going to be the layer is thinner there than it is over here where it's a little bit thicker. One thing that also helped is to slow the initial layer down a lot. I slowed it down to 30 millimeters per second with a 60 millimeters per second jump speed. And so that prevents corners that aren't necessarily that well adhered from being pulled off due to the high speed. So in the center of this test piece, it's measuring 0 0.26 millimeters, which is exactly the correct thickness of the initial layer offset which is 0 0.25 millimeters. At the corner over here, which is the area we have the most problems, it's measuring 0 0.31 millimeters, so a difference of 0 0.05 millimeters. Not a huge difference. And if we look down here at the bed leveling data, so in the center we're around minus 0 0.04, minus 0 0.02, and the corner plus 0 0.02. So that is a difference of between 0 0.04 to 0 0.06 millimeters, which should be compensated for. So I'm not exactly sure why it's not compensating for it when I do see 
the z-axis moving as it's moving around there. 